Okay, so I just want to say before we get into this video, I know that my foundation looks absolutely terrible. So I'm in the middle of trying out the um, NYX Born to Glow foundation or something. It's the glow. I'll put a picture up so that you know exactly which one it is and you know what to look out for or not look out for you know what to avoid is more to the point but i've been testing out that foundation for the last few days and it looks absolutely terrible around my chin area so yeah i just wanted to apologize for the fact that my foundation in this video just looks awful and i hope that it's not going to be a distraction for you because um you know i do want to focus purely on this absolutely beautiful mesmerizing enchanting highlighter today so anyway guys with that being said i really hope that you enjoy the video and um thank you for watching hello there and welcome back to my channel so today i just have to tell you about the best highlighter i've ever tried in the world like this highlighter is exceptionally beautiful super unique just all around absolutely amazing so the highlighter that i really want to tell you about today is by kaleidos makeup and it's called the space age prophecy highlighter so this is what she looks like she's one of these boxed highlighters um which is part of the space age highlighter collection as you can see behind me on my shelves i've got all of the other highlighters um displayed on my shelf just because the packaging is so pretty and also because i use them regularly so if i've just got them there i can kind of dip into them so like they are a decoration but i use them all the time as well so it's kind of like a win-win situation i wish all of my decoration in my house had multi-uses like you know i could just like reach for my well actually i can because i have an aloe vera plant on my mantelpiece and i've actually cut off the stalks and used the aloe vera inside for face mask so maybe that's just like the kind of householder i am i like decorations that i can also use to make me look fabulous i mean really i'm going off track here and i really want to stick on track because i just want to get across to you how phenomenal this highlighter is Kaleidos makeup did a very kindly send me this highlighter because um me me and Kaleidos makeup we're bffs no we're not i wish we were like they i wish we were but okay just a bit of background so i adore Kaleidos makeup they're an indie brand but, but the products are just exceptional the price range is kind of mid, I'd say mid-range. It's slightly more expensive than drugstore, but it's not as expensive as high-end. And I definitely think with all of the Kaleidos makeup products and brushes and sponges that I've tried, uh, I would say that they're really, really good value for money when you consider the beautiful, creative, artistic packaging. But, you know, more importantly, the actual formula. So they sent me over this brand new highlighter and I was excited, you know, as I always am when it comes to any makeup, I was excited. I was excited because I thought, the packaging was so cute and I definitely knew this is going to be going up on my shelf and it's going to look fabulous but when I opened up the highlighter I was left kind of a bit perplexed because actually like I will I know you can't really see her too well here because like my lights are like really like incredibly bright but if I show you there she kind of looks like a very bright sorry guys I, I, I want to be able to show you and I'm switching down the intensity of my lights but it does not seem to be improving things can you see there so she looks like a very bright silvery kind of white shade so like I was not quite sure what to expect with this when I first applied her I was blown away I am going to insert footage in a little bit just to show you the application because um, I think that's the most important thing like I've got her on now so you can see her looking beautiful but I will show you a clip of me actually applying her shortly I just think this highlighter is so special and I have to let you know that this highlighter costs $36 which is more expensive than their regular 
um, space age highlighters. The regular space age highlighters are, I think they're $16 each. Let me just double check for use because I want to, no, they're $14 each. Okay. So the regular highlighters are $14 each. This one is $36. I know that people will be looking at this one saying, well, hey, what is so special about this one? Okay. So I'm going to tell you exactly why I love this highlighter in my own words, but then I'm actually going to go and read the official description from the Clydes makeup website, which will explain it is so much better and more beautifully than I can. So from the front, you can't really see the highlighter. And please keep in mind that I do have a pink kind of blush on today. So the pinkness that you're seeing face on is coming from that blush. But then when you turn to the side, it's almost like you've got this kind of kaleidoscope, like rainbow effect like you can't just pinpoint one shade she's multifaceted and it's not like when you turn your head you see different shades because you do but it's kind of like as you look now i feel like you could see you could see a uh, pink gold blinding kind of silver you could see blue you could see green you can see like so many different colours. It's not as simple as just being like a rainbow. You know those rainbow highlighters that came out a while ago and they just look like a merge of different colours on your face, like a, a group of different colours just like randomly got together to hang out. But they weren't really like marrying together. It was just like, it was just like they were just hanging out on your face, but they were not like, they were not marrying together. Whereas this highlighter, I just think it just has this very like, you look at it, it's like a kaleidoscope. You look at it and you can see all the different shades. The other thing that I love about this highlighter is that, you know, like I'm always going on about this wet look sheen. This is the most wet look sheen of all of the highlighters. She just looks like, I don't know, it looks like your, shine, your skin is just like the healthy, shiniest skin from within. Um, there's no kind of powder look or chunkiness or anything like that. It's just like swoop. It just makes your skin look absolutely flawless. I also have this belief, and I've not tried this, but I will at some point. But I think that this would make the most beautiful all over like finishing powder because she has that kind of complete like smoothing out flawless look effect and I just think that if maybe you went in with like a really light hand and used her throughout your face you never know maybe I'll try that at the end of the video I might might do I'm really tempted now but I think that that would just look so gorgeous just because there's something about the texture of this that it just makes your skin look absolutely beautiful oh my gosh guys like i am in love i know you might be thinking okay well i'm winita we can see you love this highlighter we can see the highlighter is so beautiful but why why is it commanding this 36 dollar price tag when the other highlighters they're only 14 dollars so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to read you out the description from the Clydes makeup website just because they will explain far better than I will. The Space Age Prophecy, a multi-chrome champagne highlighter with a supernatural green and fuchsia shift destined for the ultimate illumination. This colour shifting glaze, glaze, yes that's a great word, a glaze, because it does look like a glaze. Uh, yeah, that's a great way to describe it. See, I would never have thought of that. That adjective is the chosen one the universe has been waiting for. Yeah, I, I mean, I can't disagree with that. And yes, it's OTT. Yes, it sounds like they're going for, you know, an, a narration award or something because it's very mm, OTT and extra. But I can't disagree. Like, I cannot disagree. You know, the other day when I was reviewing the Sophie's Mascara from Revlon and the description of that was just insane. It was like, your lashes will be so fierce. They'll be kicking everyone as you walk down the street. And it's just like, that's never going to happen. My lashes are never going to look fierce. But this, this, I, did, I agree with. So anyway, fulfill the prophecy and discover a realm of radiance where when you make contact with this mystical treasure. Do you know what? This could be made into a, a film or like a story, a kid's story, but like the kids are in trouble. Like the village is at risk of being burned down, but the kids have to save the day. So they have to go out and they have to search for the prophecy highlighter, which is deep in the cave that's ruled by the, 
the dirty trolls but the kids have to go in they have to somehow hypnotize the trolls and they have to find the prophecy highlighter and when they do the village it will be saved and the trolls will be eliminated forevermore like that's just i mean yeah i could go i'm going with this i'm falling into the fantasy i really am the key features <coughs> let me just do a little cough just to prepare for this okay key features extremely vibrant multi-chromatic color shift shift i almost say shit Sh oh my god anyway color yes i think we've got that going on check translucent yet highly reflective finish check ultra lightweight smooth texture that practically melts onto your skin check 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 highly versatile can be layered for even greater multi-dimensional effects check defo designed for all skin tones vegan and cruelty free it says what's so special about this highlighter not only does this highlighter reflect four different hues but included in these is the red to orange segment of the visible light spectrum the most difficult to, to achieve see i'm learning something today because i never knew that the red to orange segment of the visible light spectrum is the most difficult to achieve like i did not know that but i'm learning stuff it is made with the most reflective and most finely ground shimmers available the ultra finely ground shimmers allow it to blend smoothly and naturally onto your skin for a natural translucent finish for these reasons the formulation process for this shade is very time intensive as a result there is a limited production capacity for this shade so only a limited number will be available per week yeah i think that that description is just like i agree with everything i don't know about the light spectrum so i can't like confirm is that correct or not i obviously can't say if this formulation does take longer to create than their other formulations but i can only take their word for it and going off what i see on my face i have to believe everything that they're telling me and i know some of you out there might think i'm going to take a gimmick like why would you believe all of these outlandish claims but do you know what i do because i believe in magic and fantasy and i want to believe and honestly i wore this highlighter this morning when i dropped the boys off at school and i felt like a million dollars like i felt fantastic i had my mask on but it was fine because you could still see my beautiful glow radiating from my cheeks and I just felt so good, like, because I could, I knew everyone could see, like, the beaming, like, prismatic, kaleidoscopic rainbow. And I was thinking, yes, guys, yes, happy Monday, everybody. Because, look, this day is going to be great. It's going to be filled with brightness, joy, happiness. And, you know, you can see the red to orange light spectrum, which I bet you didn't think you were going to see on the school drop-off this morning, did you? No, well... You can thank me for that because here I am. I just felt so, so good. You can't really see the different rainbow from face on, as I did say earlier. But if I turn my head, just look at that glow. Oh, oh, guys, do you know what? If, if the claims that Clyde's makeup make in this description, if they are a little bit fabricated or embellished or whatever, that, you know, I don't really care because the proof is in the pudding and the pudding is me and the pudding is looking super glowy dewy just blinding and my skin's looking like smooth and it's just the best i've ever looked and i feel great like i feel phenomenal and i have so much confidence in myself because of this highlighter and i i, I can't say enough good things about it guys so i would definitely urge you to check this one out if you're a fan of highlighters, even if you're not a fan of highlighters, check it out. Okay, so I know that you thought I was joking when I said I was going to be trying to use this as an all-over face finishing powder, but I was not joking. Like, I'm really wanting to try this out. I'm going to be using the lightest of light hands because it definitely, like, it just wouldn't work if I just went in all over my face, like, super hard. So I'm just going to go in, like, super light, dust it over my face, and let's see. Like, I, do you know what I would love Clyde's makeup to do? And I'm, I'm asking them. I Like, I, Clyde's makeup, if you're watching this, I'm asking you, 
I'm begging you, please could you make an all over finishing face setting powder that's just like this, not as blinding. So something that's a little bit more of a natural look, but just still makes your skin look so smooth and flawless and reflective and glowy and just gorgeous. Like, could you do that? I don't know, but okay, so guys, I'm gonna prepare my bushes and everything and then we're gonna go. Okay, so guys, I could, definitely just sit here and rave on about this highlighter for the rest of the day but I hope that I have shown this highlighter in her most beautiful light yeah I just want to let you know this highlighter is bomb diggity down so I would definitely recommend you check her out if you want to indulge yourself in some beautiful glow this will be the perfect Christmas present to buy for yourself. And what? You don't buy Christmas presents for yourself? Come on, girl. I mean, what is Christmas all about if you cannot treat yourself? Like, I always, like, I buy presents for the boy and then I buy myself one. I buy presents for my sister and then I buy myself one. You've got to match every present you buy for someone else with a present for yourself, of course. By the way, I'm just joking. Like, I definitely don't match every present I buy for everyone else with a present for myself because then I'd have I'd have loads of presents but I'd be bankrupt. I just buy myself a Christmas tree, you know, something special that I've been lusting after for a while or, you know, just something that I've really, really wanted but I've never really justified, you know, the purchase myself. I'll just buy it for myself at Christmas because, like, it's Christmas. So, like, why not? Do you know what I mean? Anyway, guys, I would just like to finish off by thanking Clyde's Makeup for sending me their beautiful highlighter. Also, I do want to give a shout out to their highlighter brush. This is called the Precision Highlighter Brush. This is the most perfect brush to apply highlighter with. It's quite uh, big, you know, the head, um, but it's just like super duper soft. And can you see bits of the highlighter just flying off there? But, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's like a highlighter snowstorm. But anyway, this is a really beautiful brush to apply your highlighter with. It just kind of fits into that area perfectly. You can get a bit of down the nose action, nose tip, cupid's bow, just like vagina. Wherever you want to put your highlighter, I'm not judging, you can get it there perfectly with this brush so i really like that too anyway guys i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching the video today and i hope to see you in the next one